again this pro problem says a propeller consists of two blades each three meters in length and mass 120 kg the propeller can be approximated by a single rod <coughs> rotating about its center mass the propeller starts from rest and rotates up to 1200 rpms in 30 seconds at a constant rate what is the angular momentum of the propeller yeah, t equal to 10 seconds and t equal to 20 seconds okay we'll just do one and what is it what is the torque on the propeller okay so first we have to find so here is the propeller here is the okay okay so the propeller consists of two blades so this is one blade and there's the other blade and um, this is three meters okay three meters and uh, 120 kg okay so let's do the moment of inertia the moment of inertia can be you can do it as uh, treating this as one rod which is what the problem suggests or you can treat them as two rods and you're calculating the moment of inertia about their ends and that's how I'll do it so two rods and the moment of inertia of each rod about the ends is given by one third one third m l squared okay so two times one third and the mass of each rod is 120 kgs and the length is three meters square okay so the moment of inertia of the propellers is uh, three six times twelve is seventy two seven hundred and twenty kg meters square right so we have the moment of inertia we also need to calculate the acceleration so the final velocity is 1200 rpm revolutions per minute and this works out to 1200 <coughs> we'll need it in radians 2 pi radians and one minute is 60 seconds <coughs> so this is 20 40 pi radians per second and that is equal to hundred and twenty five point seven radians per second all right that's the final angular velocity achieved in 30 seconds so which is starting from rest so alpha this is zero is omega divided by t which is 125.7 radians per second divided by 30 seconds <clears throat> all right so alpha the angular acceleration is 125.7 divided by 30 4.19 radians per second squared all right so omega at 20 seconds will be omega naught plus alpha t equal to 0 plus 4.19 radians per second squared times 20 seconds so we're just doing it <coughs> so angular velocity at 20 seconds is 83.8 radians per second so this is it <coughs> all right so what is the angular momentum of the propeller at t equal to 20 seconds so <coughs> T equal to 20 seconds angular momentum is i times omega and let's see equal to 720 kg meter square times 
83.8 radians per second and that works out to 60,318 60, angular momentum is has units of kg meter square divided by second all right and in part b what they ask you is what is the torque on the propeller the torque on the propeller is i alpha uh, the torque is uh, moment of inertia times angular acceleration and so it's 720 <coughs> kg meter square times 4.19 radians per second square and this is equal to Three thousand seventeen newton meter, and that's the torque on the propeller. Okay, that finishes this problem.